on today's show. Vancouver's champions of the party funk. Bird of Paradox's Jazz Fusion. Flamenco legend Paco de Lucia. And later, your chance to win Jazz Fest tickets. See that and more. Local expression. Welcome to our Express Special on the Vancouver International Jazz Festival. I'm Joe Hanaward. We have a great show. We've got Afro Funk on today's show, flamenco guitar, some of that cool cat snappy jazz, and up first, free jazz, meaning it's a group, what our Cultus Lake Big Summer feature, that improvises their entire performance. Big Summer is brought to you by Cultus Lake Water Park, BC's number one water park. <laughs> Today is going to be as much of a surprise to us as it is for you. This is improvised jazz. That means there's no set list, no sheet music, and no plan. It's unpredictable. You don't know how the music's going to go, but if you just surrender to that spirit, you listen well, and uh, you play with confidence and uh, focus, good things happen. And good things happen when String Stories gets together. Three veteran performers who love to create music on the spot. But for guitarist Phil Emerson, it was uncharted territory. You see, he's the newest recruit to improvise jazz. As soon as I knew what these two guys were doing and they just kind of explained it to me, don't try, just play, I found it was really fun. All night long, just make it up. Bass player Tommy Babin has been improvising since he picked up an instrument. I've done a lot of ever since I was a kid, yeah. So I had I actually had videotapes of Paul when I was in high school. I had videotapes of Paul that I used to watch over and over again. I didn't know. So yeah, so and uh, you know as I got older, I bought his records and stuff like that. With a trio, you have this give and take element. You're not controlling the ultimate destiny of the music. You're kind of listening, receiving, and giving. The trio say they're excited to be playing at the Vancouver Jazz Festival, and a large part of that is because of the audience here. Uh, well, I mean, I used to play here a lot before I moved here, so uh, it was always my favorite festival to come play at. The TD Jazz Festival has been, it's been going on for over a quarter of a century now. Vancouver itself has been transformed as a result. After a quarter century of listening, um, the Vancouver ears are very open and receptive to the offerings of many, many different kinds of music. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Vancouver for The Express. Big Summer is brought to you by Cultus Lake Water Park, BC's number one water park. Vancouver may be home base for Paul, but he's been touring the world since 1979. Oh, the life of a successful musician. Now, another group whose music has taken them to stages around the world is performing here in Gastown for the Vancouver International Jazz Festival. They get the dance floor going, and not only is the music from Five Alarm Funk awesome, they also have their own gorilla. This is no ordinary monkey. He can kill the congas. He can slam the dance floor. He can even romance. As for his singing skills, uh, uh. well, that's more than made up for by his enigmatic and energetic bandmates. This guy's a, a freight train that drives the bus on stage. He, he goes a little wild. It's a, it's a really good time, you know? We just try to throw the biggest party we can. Multi-talented musicians riding a musical roller coaster for over six years. Playing it hard and fast, but definitely not loose. We call ourselves Five Alarm Funk, but we do uh, get into a lot of different realms of music. Yeah. We play funk, heavy metal, Afrobeat, uh, you know, anything that really uh, speaks to us. The call they're hearing also speaks to the crowd. Described as an unstoppable orgy of energy, Five Alarm Funk stage shows are legendary. 
I call Five Alarm Funk an omni-musical, multi-sensical experience, because you really get to get down in a lot of different ways. On stage and off, these guys know how to have a good time. <laughs> and they're not taking any of it for granted. As much as you can, get on the road and experience your own country. Yeah, and, and you'll learn that Canada is a great place to live and a wonderful place to play music. Hey, anything to add? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, 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 keep it clean. <laughs> Five Alarm Funk is performing at the Victoria Jazz Festival on Sunday, July the 3rd. And some of the members of the band are also in an Afro-funk band called Miami Device. And we're going to meet them a little bit later. Right now we're trading in the bongos and the sax for a Chinese violin, Indian drums, and an acoustic guitar. A sound that's very Vancouver jazz. Back in her native Taiwan, Lan Tong lived and breathed classical Chinese music. So, I wasn't even listening to anything other than Chinese music. That is, until she came to Canada 11 years ago. Here, Lan met Indian percussionist Neil Dillon and guitarist Ron Samworth. Together, they formed Birds of Paradox, a band where East meets West and everything in between. So this band is a direct reflection of Vancouver. Being born and brought up here, exposed to so many different kinds of culture and music and food, this band is just a natural extension of that. We have Chinese music, Indian music, jazz music, and it all just comes together. It's liberating. <laughs> I was exploring different sonic possibilities and different things you can do on the instrument, like things that you're not supposed to do or things you didn't think about. The paradox is that, in theory, a combination like this shouldn't work, but the instruments somehow flow together in harmony. As artists in general, the essence of the band, I think, is the musical personalities that are there. For me, I enjoy playing with Lan. I think she's got a unique voice, um, especially on the Airho improvising. That's not a usual thing. It, and Neil just has this wonderful uh, all-round musicianship. He understands a number of traditions and he's an amazing tabla player. So it's really, for me, it's about the personalities. If I didn't like the people in the group, uh, I, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I've got some ideas, so I mean, if we can just... And while exploring new sonic territory is the aim, the band's biggest challenge is staying true to their roots individually. Trying to understand and learn from each of them and have a, a firm root so that you can draw from that and blend it together without it being just pieces thrown together but actually making it a true mix. Fortunately in this band, anything goes because they pride themselves on having no boundaries. It's an aspect of jazz music that Lan doesn't take for granted. I don't have to worry about how other players are doing it. I just have to think of how I'm going to do it. So that's liberating that sense. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. You can go to birdofparadox.ca to find out about all of their outdoor shows this summer, including a free Jazz Fest show on July 1st at Performance Works. You're watching our Express Jazz Fest special, and we've got more talent and some free tickets coming up. After the break... Afrobeat funk band Miami Device. The Aussie Urban Roots crew Blue King Brown. You're watching local TV on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.